JP, you believe that there is a God, that the Christian religion is true, yes. and that therefore there is eternal life, yes. and salvation is a very glorious experience. That's e internally consistent. I'd like to try to explore what yes. that eternal life experience would be like. In Christian theology, you draw a distinction between death and the final resurrection. So between death and the final resurrection when Christ will return and we get bodies again, a person enters an intermediate period as a disembodied soul. In that sense, you are capable of having conscious awareness. I believe that you can be aware of, of sense experiences, but you don't have a body, and it would be a very diminished form of existence. Your ability to be aware of God's presence will be heightened, and you will be capable of sensing His presence and being aware of Him. Uh, but, your, but, but life as a disembodied soul will be relatively difficult for us to conceptualize because we're embodied. And so I think there's very little in the New Testament and the Old Testament about that state. About this intermediate period. Now, yeah. that's a controversial period. Some people think that you're unconscious. Some Christians believe yes. that you're unconscious during this period. It sounds like your state is like uh, the normal consciousness, but maybe uh, taking a kind of a half a sleeping pill or something. You lose a little bit of your perception during this period, but you are there. Um, I, I think that's, we can discuss that, sure. But I'm more interested in the final. What is eternity like when you have your new body in the resurrection, as, as you see it? This new body is, is not a material body. Material is corruptible and disintegrate, and this is forever, right? Yes. So it's a different kind of body. Yeah. So we have the disembodied spirit being united with a, with a new body. Yes. And, and, and what kind of body is that? Is that a spiritual body? No, it's a regular physical body. By saying it's a spiritual body, it means it won't cease, it doesn't decay. It doesn't mean it's not material. So, so, it's, a so body. it's a new kind of material? No, uh, I don't know the answer to the kind of material it is. I do know that it's not limited like our physical body is now. Um, and I also think that uh, in, the eternal, in, in the eternal life when we're embodied, uh, we will have powers over matter. Uh, you, Jesus, for example, I think was an archetype. He was able to command a tree and it withered. He was able to produce loaves and fish from a sure. small number. I think we're going to be able to engage in all kinds of artistic creativity. So we'll be able to say, for example, to a hillside, I want you to turn purple and look like this. As long as I'm not wanting to turn green at Please, the Please, there time. you have it. That's right. There you have it. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're going to engage in all kinds of learning, all kinds of play, all kinds of artistic creativity. It won't be boring. It'll be exciting and invigorating. We'll always be finite, so there'll always be new things to learn. And here's the important thing. We'll be able to do that with those we love and with God, and it'll be a co, it'll be a co exploration. There'll be deep, rich community, uh, times of it, deep interaction where there's not going to be hiddenness. I don't know if you've ever experienced uh, talking to somebody who's very defensive and hidden. I've been that way myself and still am at times, compared to talking to somebody where you can see that there's a real purity of heart and they're very open and honest and caring. Multiply that a hundredfold, and you're getting close to what that's going to be like. We still we'll have a material we, body. We'll have a physical body. We'll be able to eat. Uh, we'll physical be, body we'll means, means made of the same kinds of. A yeah, atoms it'll it'll occupy space. Uh, uh -huh. it, it'll you'll you'll be able to see it. It'll have a shape. Yeah, yeah. of course. A yeah, and, but it'll never change. Well, it won't, if, if by change, you well, I mean, you can move your arms, and you can. Yeah, I mean, won't well, won't. Well, you yeah. can color your wrist green if you wanted to. Sure. But but if by change you mean decay, right. no, it won't decay. Ever. Ever. That's yeah. right. And and uh, will all kinds of physical functions? Will there be sexuality? I don't think there will be sexuality, and we won't miss it. Uh, that won't be something that will be needed. Uh, why is food needed? Uh, uh, I don't know why. I mean, that's why did God create worms green? Uh, it, it's a, it'll be a source of pleasure that will be something that will be conducive to our nature, whereas our sexuality won't be as essential to our flourishing. And I put it like this, will there be pets in the afterlife? My answer well, to that is... That's a good is, question. Yeah, my answer is 
that there will that that, that that God is about the task of making this something that's going to be unbelievably exhilarating and thrilling. And there will be whatever is needed for you to flourish as a unique human person. And God, there isn't one size fits all. There are going to be things there that for, for specific individuals that's going to make heaven a place for them that will allow them to flourish maximally, whereas another person might not need that kind of thing. Is heaven a place? It isn't now. Mm. Heaven is real, but it's not a spatial location. It is a different mode of existence. But, it, but it, when we receive resurrected bodies, there's going to be a new heaven and earth, and we will be on earth. We won't be somewhere else, but earth will be very different. Will we always be bound to earth? No. That's why in Jesus' resurrected body is an archetype. Uh, he was capable of, of appearing, and it appears that the laws of physics were not did not control his resurrected body. So we're going to be capable of exploring. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I think the universe is so big. I think there are going to be opportunities for us to explore and have an absolute blast. So everything you got except sex. Oh, and 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 a lot that you can't imagine. <laughs> I, I mean, it's that's what. The, Science fiction is really the only way you can get a hold of this because the imagination needs to run wild uh, to understand what this is going to be. It isn't going to be a bunch of a little old lady singing boring hymns in some wooden building that's half empty. It's going to be a celebration. And uh, there is a, a robust maintaining of our individual consciousness. Absolutely. Because many religious traditions would teach that, that the ultimate uh, uh, right. achievement right. is to e right. either merge your consciousness with some cosmic consciousness, with a god of some type, and so that's the highest form yes. of, of, of beatitudes, yes. or to go out of existence totally, that that's right. also the height. No, I'm so. always going to be I. I'll always be this individual human person, though I will be a lot less dysfunctional than I am now. <laughs> and the, uh, you'll, you'll have your full set of memories from your life? Yes. Including all the bad things that yes. you've done? But, but they will not thwart my life uh, any more than getting rid of training wheels seems to be a bad thing for a kid who grows up. Now, having these painful memories is sufficient to trump my flourishing. But my flourishing will be so robust that I will be able to sustain grief and bad memories without it bothering me. Think of God's life for a minute. God has a very interesting life. He leads an interesting life. He loves his life. He's, 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 got an, he's filled with a lot of beauty and happiness, but he's able to have that with full awareness of sadness and grief. Because his soul is so big that his awareness of grief is not sufficient to override the strength of his joy and happiness. And I think the same thing is going to be true. We will be more like that. So... We will be like God, but in that sense, but we will not. We will be sufficiently different from God. Yes. Will we be we'll sufficiently be different from the resurrected Jesus? Uh, in Christian theology, no. We will. Our resurrection bodies will be very much like His. They'll be immortal, and uh, there will be. He was able to eat. Uh, but but he could. So that's the prototype that you have, right. which you've described, which is the resurrected right. Jesus, which which is internally consistent. Right. But then, is there a gap between Jesus and God? Because if Jesus has this kind of God, does God have that kind of body too? Well, in Christian theology, Jesus is a person with two natures, and he has a human nature and a divine nature. So the, the, the human nature has the is embodied is is, is the resurrected body. Y yeah, the human nature. Must be it needs to be embodied okay. to flourish. So Jesus has that right now. Yes. Right. But 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 then he has another nature that's that's like God, and and but that's not embodied in the body. Right. We're right because you can't you can't embody an infinite being. I don't feel like I'm right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You well, you, you're you're right. You can't embody an infinite being. So, so then Jesus has two separate natures. They, they, well, by separate, if you mean different, yes. If by separate you mean they're not united, no, because he's one person with two natures. And we don't have to wonder if they're in the same place because one has no place. Right. They but have the other different has attributes. A place. 
But but one one has a place. Well, I'm not so sure. That, that's a different question about what is the essence of matter. Is a matter, lot of questions come up. Right. Is it, could matter be de, could matter be delocalized for a period of time and relocalized? I don't see why not. I don't know why matter couldn't be the potential for localization rather than having to be actually localized. So so you, you, <laughs> so in our resurrected bodies, we would have the capacity for delocalization. Yes. Yeah, so, so for example, in certain quantum theories of matter is that certain quantum states matter can exist without occupying any particular location. So it might not make any sense to say, where is Jesus' resurrected body right now? Because though it's material, it might be, have the potentiality to be localized, so he could show up, but that it might not have to be actually localized all throughout its existence. I think what's interesting, at the very least, is that the uh, Judeo-Christian religions would postulate a very rich eternal life which is not at all the common perception. Right. No, it's extraordinarily rich and interesting. 